The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. It's brought to you by All Pro Roofing. All Pro Roofing, LLC.com on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yes. All right, I've mapped out my, this is, this is you mapped why we do what we do. I've mapped out my weekend Here's beginning tonight. Here's MapQuest, Google Maps. Did you hop on Waze? So I will be, I will be watching the Jaguars Bengals this evening. Then I will be. I won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you will. I'm off. No, he'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Friday, I got some high school ball, which is always fun. Saturday, then I've got my derriere in that. It's going to be so. That couch is going to have a. Whole, Sorry, like, honey, I'm working. I have to watch these. Games. When I get up from my that favorite couch, phrase. throughout the day, there's going to be a, a Dan spot there. Okay. Because that's from noon. maybe get a uh, uh, depends. Yeah, don't even get up. Yeah, it might be. Just that's gonna be put from a diaper, like, adult diaper on and just don't get up. That's gonna be like from noon to midnight. Square. I, I'm with square you. There, out. there is compelling college football this weekend from noon to midnight. You can't say that every week. And then Sunday, I may, you know, I may because there's no jag. You're I'll just red enjoy. zone a little bit. What? I'll red zone a little bit. And then, but but my my must watch game is the Sunday night game. Sure. We go so, red zone all day till then. I will. Yeah. So that's that's the plan right now as it unfolds, beginning tonight, which is why I'm going to need my strength for the weekend. So Friday morning, I if I come in, it'll be at about nine. Yeah, that's not acceptable at all. That's not happening. I'd like to start the Daniel Murphy Power Hour. N- no, that's Dan Hicken Power Hour. N- not the same. Ten. Not no. the same cachet. No. That's the plan right now. That's where we're standing. Right. That's how it's looking. Okay. Good luck. Good luck with that. I know how that to, works for you. I'm going to uh, really enjoy watching some ball this weekend. Man, I tell you what, the Jaguar with the hottest seat in a long time, unable to play tonight, really opens the door for a change at that position. No, and I don't know what well, Josh Lambeau sure. is going through personally, but hadn't practiced all week because of quote unquote personal issues. Will not make the trip or kick tonight because of personal issues. And he's gonna have professional issues if Matthew Wright goes up there, has a perfect night and makes kicks that matter. Yeah, it's a weird one. I you know, we've been around this team since day one and this one stands out as a strange thing and, and no one knows what exactly what's going on and so it's be dumb to speculate, but if it's important then uh you know, good luck to him. Uh, but they they've got a game tonight and they got to go got to go try to win so they obviously need a kicker it's not the practices this week are not the same as normal week cuz they basically didn't practice they basically just walked through so the fact that he w- w- you know did not practice is is telling and makes me wonder on a lot of i could throw out a ton of things like uh, who knows uh, the jaguars said hey listen this is how we're going to handle it you know or i don't know i have no idea but it's it's very very strange for sure trevor lawrence uh is a loss away from losing as many games in one month as he lost throughout his entire high school and college careers. 86 and 4. Yeah, never lost a regular season game. But it's but it started 0 and 3 heading into tonight's game against the yeah. Bengals. 86 and 4. The NFL's tough. The great equalizer, I call it. Well, you and you and everyone. The great equalizer. So, uh, uh yeah, but uh, listen, I I expect the Jags to I want them to start playing like I want them to continue playing like they played a little bit on but, Sunday. But for 6 try and do it for 60. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see uh, – I really want to see Trevor give us a glimpse, and it doesn't have to be the beginning and then every week's like that. But show me a little Patrick Mahomes. Show me a little – you know, have a game where you go above the X's, where they win because of you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I think that ultimately that is the – I think that that's the end for, for Trevor Lawrence. I think that's what he is going to do. I, I'm getting impatient to see it. From a, from a joy standpoint, not a stress standpoint. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it's going to be a process, right, to to build yourself into a winner, which continues. I mean, these guys are wheeling and dealing guys really late in a in a in a season process to try and win now, right? You dealt Sidney Jones, you dealt Joe Schober, both late into yeah. into camp or preseason, and then now you've dealt C.J. Henderson, a starting corner, yeah. you know, early in the season. So it's yeah. pretty clear that the the vision. For Urban and the guys he's working with is, is coming together, and part of that vision is going to be out with some old and in with some new, but the new better be better. Mm-hmm. So I, it's going to be interesting to see how Tyson Campbell plays now that he is entrenched there. Yeah. Except for that visible, you know, post-up veteran uh, move. He played okay the other day. Yeah. You know, he made, yeah, he made a couple right. of plays. Yep. Shaq played really good. He, he followed Hopkins around and 
You know, if Jalen would have done what Shaq did, it would have been national news. I mean, Hopkins had like three for 21, and yeah. I read somewhere that Shaq said it's the first time in his career he followed a receiver all day. I didn't notice him doing that during the game. I didn't realize they were. Yeah, yeah that was, uh, well, uh, somebody better follow Jamar Chase tonight. 100%. So. Yeah, 100%. I don't, uh, there, there's no doubt about that. The Jags uh, dodge a little bit of a bullet with no T. Higgins. He's a, also a really good emerging young receiver. He won't play. They have Tyler Boyd as their other guy. Tyler Boyd. Basically, I said it like this. Here's all you need to know about where these two teams are on their growth chart. The that the Bengals' third receiver is basically our first receiver. Same guy. Marvin Jones, Tyler Boyd, right? Those guys at the end of the year are going to have real similar stats. Uh, yeah. Probably have the last few years of their careers. Um, and so, but, but without Higgins, it's pretty much just Chase and Boyd when it comes to, you know, established they veteran receivers. got that receiver. Tate kid. I believe that Alden Tate, the, uh, the FSU kid, right? Right. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I really, it's those three have garnered most of the attention. I got Joe Mixon, obviously. You better keep him in check. It's Look, if Joe Burrow is who they think he is when they took him as their franchise quarterback, then the Bengals are going to be pretty good maybe this year. They're already 2-1. and one. They already have a road win over Pittsburgh. There's more pressure on them tonight to follow up. Yeah. Right, follow up that win on the road, and this is a game they have to win. You have the worst team in the league coming to your house in prime time. I mean, that's how it's viewed up there. I'm sure they're going to have a rocking house for a change. I have a. It's uh, a tough spot. I have a. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. Uh, oh, I'll share it with you. But I have a bet with one of my students. Man, you're just taking your de- degeneration all over well, town. He's a huge Bengals fan. I oh. mean, like self-proclaimed. Apparently, you're trying to turn him into a huge gambler as well. well I know he wanted to bet. So we did he? Maybe he's heard you. He's heard you on the radio. He knows he you backed me into a corner. spiraling. Well, I'm not spiraling. It's a Rhino Shield bet. Of well, the day. I thought he's maybe talking about the five pack. Well, if he was that, then I am spiraling. That is a fact. That is a fact. So what is the wager? Uh, it's not the not the stakes, but the Bengals Jags straight up. Oh, just straight up win. Yeah. He oh. backed me into the corner. Sounds I, like a pretty smart kid. I mean, he's yeah. got a free seven and a half points. He didn't even yes, he have does. to give you. Yes, he does. He didn't want to give them. Yeah. I said, oh, whatever, bro. I'll, I'll back my team. My team, my town. Screw you. You didn't care. Then I punched him, which I wow. also think was probably a mistake. Could be. Could have been your last class. May have been. Mm. May have been. Don't know I, why I had to act that way, but. It happens. It temp, happens. Temper's apparently flaring over at UNF campus. Yes. From 12, over, 1260. Over, a, over seven and a half points. It <laughs> happens, man. It happens. That's that's the degeneration that happens when you start Things run hot. Living did you the happen life to hear the stat? The edge, did you happen gambling. to hear Did you happen to hear the stat that I dropped in about the Tampa Bay Rays? Yes, I did. That's unbelievable. It's pretty good. It's too bad that nobody's there in the stadium to see this great organization. What an organization. But the Ray, bottom line is the Rays at every level of baseball had like the best record in the championship, almost exclusively. Low A, high A, double A, triple A, MLB. They are either you know, best record in their league or the best record in their league and a championship in almost every level of baseball. And that, by the way, is with their number one prospect, primarily just a Ray now, that Wander Franco kid. Wander Franco, did he tie or pass Frank Robinson for one of the most two. appearances? Or yeah, 42 on base, in a row, under 21. Under the age of, yeah. So, who are the Rays organizations? They got Durham still? I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I didn't look that up. I just, was just going by the designation. I always thought it was Durham. If is I'm the not. game on Fox tonight, Dan, also? Or yes. is it just NFL Network? No, we're on Fox. All right, because a lot of folks wonder about that here locally. There's still a bunch out there that don't have uh, NFL Network. So, yeah, you can see it locally on uh, Fox 30. You'll hear this tonight. The Jags have lost 18 games in a row. They are two away from becoming only the third team in the 102-season history mm. of the NFL to lose 20 games in a row. Do you understand that now? Does that, does that, I know you say you don't look at it like 18 We're losses three. in a row. Yeah. yeah. But that's a fact. They've lost 18 games in a row. Now, the 15 last year were worth it. 100% worth it. Uh, but they're two away from becoming only the third team in the 102 season history of the NFL to lose 20 games in a row. Although we could have now, in hindsight, we could have won one more game and still gotten Trevor Lawrence. No need to take that chance. No, we couldn't. Take I, I, I forget the one we just tanked in the middle of a win. Yeah, <laughs> right. We were right. in some games that down the stretch. And yeah, it's probably, um, probably better. Are you keeping up with this now? Kind of emerging storyline with Deshaun Watson. 
Uh, yeah, it, well, it started over the Mike weekend. Mike traded because uh, uh, Jay Glazer reported. Well, Jay Glazer did that on Sunday. You know, he threw out on the Fox Sports uh, pregame show that the Texans are softening their stance. And we may have even talked about that on Monday. But yesterday he went um, something even more vague and more intriguing. Okay. Uh, in specific reference to the Texans and, Watts, and Watson, Glazer tweeted yesterday, keep your eyes on this situation. The Dolphins want Watson. Uh, primarily, the owner wants Watson. Yeah. Stephen Ross wants Deshaun Watson. I, um, the sticking point is the compensation, and I guess there's some whispers now that maybe they're softening a little bit on what it's going to take to get him. Well, yeah. And the, the the Dolphins have the ammo to make that trade? I would. Do they have? Assume so. I, I don't know. I haven't looked extra at. Extra first-round picks? I don't know if they have extra, but I'm sure they would give up their own and have none to get Deshaun Watson. Yeah. I would assume if you're If you were the Dolphins, would you want Deshaun Watson? Hundred million trillion percent. If he's able to, if he's playing football, even with everything around him, well, he's not going to be out forever. He's a young right. guy, right? I understand. I, yeah, I'm I asking a, you a question. Yeah, yeah, the answer is an emphatic yes. Yeah, yeah an if, you're, emphatic if yes. you're the owner, you have every right to sit there and go, you know, and you can get him now. He, it's it. Look, this is in no way I would solving say, any I would wrong say this. Doing. I would say this. Yeah. If I'm Miami, I would really want to deal Tua to Houston. Sure. I would want that to be part of the deal. And Houston might might also. Well, we had heard that and this is a while ago, but that that wasn't they weren't interested. Well, put it in as a throw in then. That's what I mean. I mean, it, you may as well have them there as competition. I mean, and it's no dis, it's no disrespect to it, but it would make it a a, a, a more difficult situation to have. Well, he'd never play. Right. It wouldn't be difficult. It'd be pretty clear cut. Deshaun Watson would be the starter and the well, guy there's no that, doubt. But yeah. my point is that you still have that that albatross hanging around where you guys Picked him yeah. over Herbert and everybody else, and now you're admitting. But, you know, if you're the owner and you sense it, well, man, we went 10-6 and six a year ago, and we really didn't have great quarterback play. If we got this guy, why wouldn't sure. we be better? Well, wouldn't, Deshaun Watson has rapidly established himself as the top five quarterback. Wouldn't you be a immediate? Yes. Yeah. Super Bowl contender. You're right up there with the Bills. You've matched Josh right. Allen with Deshaun Watson. Yeah. That's yeah. why I wouldn't. I I, I would. Agree. I would give up whatever. What do you want, Houston? Yeah. Now the problem is that you, you know. Well, it's not even a problem. The reality is you're going to be who you are this year anyway, unless you're trading Tua as part of it. You're not even right. changing this season at all. You're giving up future uh, picks, and there is no latest from the NFL. Right? He just remains out there in limbo. They haven't ruled one way or the other. They're not. It's just the Texans who are deactivating him, basically. Right. The Texans and him reached an agreement early on and said, look, we're going to give you your $10 million this year, and you're going to be a good soldier and stay off to the side, and we're not going to play you because you don't want to play for us. We're just, you know, and, and that's what we'll do. And then right. we'll trade you when we can. But we're not going to give you away. You know, we just can't do that as an organization. That would not be in the best interests of the organization. So, I mean, what's fair? Two firsts for him? Two firsts and, and a player. Well, I mean – you're the Texans, and they call and say, we'll give you two firsts for him. No? Click? Yeah, I don't – because they wanted three and players. Yeah, I, what you – you know. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, no. But I'm a little bit scarred by our two firsts for a player. Yeah, well, that's true, too. You know you what I mean? Make, well, it depends on what you – There's it's, some reports that they're starting to back off their price, too. That's what I'm price. thinking. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I think they might t- – if you're the Dolphins, you definitely offer the two firsts. Well, sure. I would, sure. That's on the table. Yeah. No, well, I, I would. I, I agree with that. Um, yeah, I would if I if I'm Miami and I can do that, I would do it. Uh, when Glazer spoke over the weekend, he said uh, they weren't open to trade talks unless somebody was going to give them a ridiculous trade offer, more than six draft picks. They've already been offered three ones and three threes. Wanted yeah. more than that. Yeah, well, uh, I don't want to give three ones and three threes. That's bananas. Yeah, but might give you two ones and a three. Yeah, and a player. You know. Again, you got to give me enough because let's be honest too. If you're giving me your ones, can you tell me what the Dolphins have? What they control in terms of first round picks? Do they still have a like? Do they have one of Houston's picks in the future? Or I I, I would say this: if you're going to give me, boy, those two teams have dealt a lot uh, now that you mentioned the Dolphins have uh, a first next year. It's actually the. 49ers pick. Okay, so that's a later They own the pick. 49ers pick. The Eagles actually own their pick. Okay. Uh, their pick. They have no round two pick. Uh-huh. Uh, as far as 2023, uh, they have a first round pick as well as, the, uh, as well as the 49ers pick. And they have their first in 24 as well. I guess the 49ers moved up to 
three for Lance. Right. Is that where all that's but coming here's from? My, here's my issue. Yeah, the Dolphins slid back to what, six? First-round picks sound great until you realize it's the 26th pick or the 23rd pick. Well, the 49ers picks are going to be late, so. It's, the Dolphins would be too, most likely. I, I, I would be a little. <sighs> Maybe you get, I, I don't know. I, look, you got, it's, it's going to take somebody not getting exactly what they want for the deal to go through. I understand that. Yeah. But it's going to cost you something. I want. In the I want, meantime, you get nothing. If right. you're if you're Houston, you just right. and it's, well, no, I'm going to trade him no, eventually. Because what's going to happen, Pross, is that, honestly, if you do hold on to him, the offers are going to increase because teams will be competing for him going into the draft next year. If you wait until the draft, in my opinion, then all these teams, Philadelphia, once if Hertz isn't the answer, Indianapolis and Wentz isn't the answer, Miami when two is not the answer. Yeah, uh, they're all going to compete and give more and more. So that's what that that is the way I think it's going. The uh, friendshipometer, I have a feeling, is going to get personal and it's going to peg extra low. Character is going to be revealed. Uh, there is a matchup looming next week that's really going to reveal a lot. What is that? Well, when Jeff Prosser's Atlanta Braves take on Andy King's Milwaukee Brewers in the NLDS. There's no friend. That's and not, the, no. And, and the Johnny Come Lately. Um, Brewers yeah. get the full fledged the support of yes. burgeoning best friends who are developing their own friendship ometer. Yes. Dan Kicken and Dan Hicken yes. and Andy King. That is correct. So um I only gotta say that I got and, and I'll tell you Go Braves. I've by got, the way, I've got two hands, which means I got one for each of you. Yeah, and by the way, yeah. the uh, Braves are gonna win that series. You will probably at some <laughs> point utter some <laughs> awful things about I'll call you both an idiot Andy savant. and myself. Yeah. I should. And well deserved. Not really. Not for me. Maybe for Andy. That's your your guys yeah. are competing. Uh, uh, but well, if, he wanted. If he'll you get think it for one instant. If it were the Mets and the Brewers yeah. playing, just going to hurt more be... because the uh, <laughs> a, a, a allegiance that's going to develop there. The the dual prong. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't need any of that nonsense. Yeah, I, I can see you. I know how you are. Yeah. So it'll be worse. You guys, he he. You'll be giggling back and forth, just they're driving winning. me crazy. Right. Yeah. That's a big if, by the way. Yeah. That's a big if. Yeah. Um, I thought a real smooth move by the Brewers yesterday as one of the best pitchers in their entire organization, a guy who was the NL Rookie of the Year last year, the reliever of the year last year, decided it would be a good idea last night to punch a wall and break his hand. I love it. So they won't have him for the postseason. I'd like more Brewers players to do things like that. I don't know. We'll ask Doc Murphy next. Can you pitch with a broken hand? That may be. Maybe there's a way. Maybe the ball will spin a little bit. He's weird. having surgery like today, so probably not. St- stitch it up. We got Flogging Mur- flogging Molly. We're not Flogging Murphy. We're flogging talking Murphy, to Murphy. We're Flogging Molly. Molly. Flogging somebody. Uh, this weekend at the St. Aug Amphitheater. Give me a number, Dan. Number one. Number one. Call number one right now. 641-1010. Going to go home with a pair of tickets to see Flogging Molly this weekend, Sunday, October 3rd, at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. Call now, 641-1010. Oh,